Hello everyone, it's Spawnpoint and today we are unboxing and taking a first look at a new Pro Controller from Scuf. This is the Envision Pro which comes with 4 rear mappable buttons, adjustable triggers and a new design that I think could be their best one yet, as well as some other features that make this a real game changer. Now before we jump in, I wanted to say a massive thank you to Scuf for sending me out this controller, but also if you do order any controller from their website, make sure to use my code and link below as you will save 5% off your order. Now this is going to look a little bit different to the normal one as they have sent me one of these creator boxes, but inside we get the new controller which looks awesome. I really like this grey and orange theme as well as the shape, but let me put this to one side just for now and we'll see what else is inside the box. So we also get a pack of accessories, which includes a braided USB-C charging cable where it appears to have a USB-C on one end, and then the option to either use a USB Type-A or Type-C with this little adapter. So that's pretty cool. It also comes with a spare set of thumbsticks, and a USB dongle to plug into your PC. There's also a set of blanking plates for some of the buttons on the controller, but I'll show you which ones you can disable later. And then inside this little drawer, there is a t-shirt. Now this isn't normally included though, so you can kind of ignore this. Okay, so first impressions on the new Envision Pro controller, this looks and feels really nice. It actually looks similar to the Impact controller that we had back on the PlayStation 4, but I would say with even better grips. As for the design, well, we've got this nice flat grey finish with some nice orange details around the thumbsticks, and the texture feels almost rubbery rather than plastic, like they've added a really thin layer of rubber over the case, which kind of gives it a more premium feel. Looking around, we've got the symmetrical thumbstick layout over the asymmetrical, which if you're a PlayStation player like myself, you'll probably prefer this as well. We have some subtle scuff branding on one of the handles and the Envision text on the other side. It's also got this cool design in the middle where the touchpad would normally be on a controller, but it doesn't actually do anything, it just looks nice. Now at the time of making this video, the only colour choices available were the grey or white on the Pro and the black on the non-Pro controller. But what's really cool is that this is just a magnetic faceplate, so you can literally pop this cover off and swap it for another colour, which I assume they will open up on their website very soon. They actually did the same with the Xbox Instinct controllers, so I have a few different colour choices for that, which I can swap between when I fancy a new look. But to be honest, I think the grey and the orange combo work really well together, and it's something I would probably have specced anyway. Then a quick look at the available buttons and what they do. So we have the D-pad here on the left, and the first thing that I notice is that this is actually a mechanical D-pad. Not only does that mean it sounds awesome, but it's going to be far more responsive as you press it. It's basically a mouse-like click now. The only downside is it is very firm by comparison to a normal D-pad, so I have found that I do need to press it a little bit harder. And then in the middle, we have the usual share and menu buttons. And another thing that I think makes this look a little bit more premium is the fact that the A, B, X and Y buttons aren't actually blanked out. By having the letters inside the buttons, it definitely removes that cheap fake controller look. And just like with the D-pad, these buttons are mechanical, so they have that nice clicky sound and feedback. I think for gaming, this is going to make such a difference, as you've essentially reduced the response time it takes to click, whether that's reloading, jumping or attacking someone. Now, one of the biggest and best features about a scuff controller are the triggers, and this one does not disappoint. So normally when you spec a pro controller like this, you either choose normal or instant triggers, like on the reflex controller. Well, on the Envision Pro, you can actually have both. So by default, we get these nice smooth standard triggers that will work on any games, like Forza for example. Then underneath each trigger, there are these little buttons that if you slide to one side, it turns the triggers into an instant trigger. Now this isn't like the DualSense Edge controller where it reduces it by say 50%. This literally turns it into a mouse-like click. For me, this is an absolute game changer for a controller. It means you can use it for FPS games that need that instant response, but you can still use the controller for normal games that need a full range of movement. It basically makes this versatile that it will work with any games. Then above that we have the bumpers which are nice and clicky. And on the side, this is something new, we have another set of buttons which your index fingers will rest on. These can be remapped to any button, and the way you press it isn't like any other button as you just rest your fingers against it. It's actually a pretty clever design and it doesn't feel like you're going to accidentally press it. But if you don't think you'll ever use these, well it does come with a pair of blanking plates inside the box. So you can essentially remove the button and disable it altogether. Then if we flip this over, we have the usual performance grip that Scuff have done for the last couple of years, and this feels awesome. They are incredibly grippy straight away, but as time goes on, they actually wear a little and start to get sticky, which to be honest is actually a good thing. Well, they certainly never feel like they're going to slip out of your hands while you're playing. 
and in the middle we have the four rear buttons. Now, Scuff have said these are the fastest rear paddles that they've ever made, as they've built these from the ground up. And you know what? I can see why. Rather than just a normal paddle-like button, these again have the instant mouse-like clicks. They're also positioned in a way that makes it feel ergonomic and easy enough to press. And the fact that you can remap these to any other button means you can jump, reload, or mark up enemies without removing your thumbs from the thumbsticks. These can all be set up in the IQ software on your PC, so you can decide exactly how you want to use them. Now, I only started using scuff controllers about three years ago, and since then, I cannot play a game without them. The extra paddles alone make it so much easier to play pretty much any game. Now, although it does come with four buttons, you can actually remove two of these if needed, so the two outer ones are embedded into the controller, but the two inner ones can be removed and be replaced with another set of blanking plates. It means if you don't need all four, you don't need to worry about accidentally pressing them. So the thumbsticks are standard analog sticks. So we don't have the Hall Effect sticks here, which means there is a chance of stick drift. It's not something that I've personally ever experienced, but I know it's something that a lot of you do mention or will be concerned with over time. But I do like the fact that you can swap out the caps. So it comes with two standard concave ones here, as well as two domed ones in the box, one of which is longer. I also like the orange rings on this, which is a nice touch, but you can pop these out and swap them for a different color. Now, one of the biggest additions to this new controller are the G keys. These are five buttons across the bottom that have the ability to pretty much do anything you'd like. They can be set to a normal button or a full-blown advanced macro. So you can set one of these buttons to mute your audio, or open a program, or even record your gameplay. All of this can be set up inside the IQ software on your PC. But essentially, you get five buttons that have no limit to what they can do. And next to those, you will have noticed there is some RGB here. We've got a strip that changes color depending on what you're doing or which profile you're using. This can also be customized to either a solid color, pulsate, sync to your other devices, or you can just turn it off entirely. Now, to be honest, I do like an RGB vibe when it comes to the lighting in my room, but on the controller, I would probably keep it off. Now, I did mention at the start, there is a pro and a non-pro version to this controller. Well, they both work on PC, but here are the main differences between the two. So the pro has everything, whereas the non-pro doesn't have wireless as it's a wired only controller. It also doesn't have that high performance rubber grip and you cannot adjust the triggers. And the price difference between the two is 50 pounds. And personally, I think it's worth the extra for those instant triggers and rubber grip alone. As for the wireless and wired modes, well, if you're sitting at your desk anyway, you might want to use it in wired with the one meter braided USB C cable, but if you do decide to use it wireless, you will need to plug this USB dongle into your PC, as that's the only way it's going to work. It also uses slipstream, which gives speeds of up to 3 milliseconds, which is rapid over wireless. Then this is the IQ software that you will need to install. This is the app that allows you to customize and update the controller and get the most from it. This way you can remap every button on the controller, adjust the dead zones on the triggers and thumbsticks, change the G keys, add macros, and play with the RGB settings. Then once you've remapped all of your buttons, you can save all of these settings to one of three profiles. And that's where this little button comes in handy on the controller. So if you press it, it swaps between the three different colors, which means the three different profiles available. It also means you can quickly swap between the profiles without needing to plug it back into the software. Now, I think most of us will probably use wireless headphones while gaming, but there is a 3.5mm headphone jack on the bottom in case you wanted to use that. Oh, and another point worth mentioning is this does come with a 12-month warranty. From memory, Scuff products used to come with just 6 months warranty, so this is a big step up. So, is it really worth buying? Well, if you're a PC gamer and you want to move away from keyboard and mouse to a controller, this is going to bridge that gap with mouse-like clicks, custom buttons, and those G keys. The biggest downside for me, though, is the fact that it will only work on PC. If this controller worked on something like the Xbox Series X or PS5, I would happily use this over the others I already have. And the fact that you can adjust the triggers is a game changer, as it makes it far more versatile across all of the games you want to play, as you cannot really use instant triggers on games where you need to feather the trigger. So yes, over the last 10 days of using this controller, it is a brilliant controller and worth picking up. And if you do decide to grab one of these controllers or any scuff controller at all, make sure you use my code SPAWN and you will save 5% and you'll help me out as well. Now that was a first look at the new scuff controller. Now drop a pro controller in the comments and I'll give you a thumbs up for staying right till the end. And if you did enjoy today's video, check out my PlayStation 5 three years later video next, as that covers a recap on the last three years and what I think the future holds for the PS5. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, sub and follow me everywhere. Until next time.